Hi guys, I'm Jason White. This is my channel, Jason's Weird Reads. Thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, pretty much every readathon that I've done, I've like hemmed and hawed over, like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, Halloween a thon, sorry, the half a ween a thon is, uh, is, is coming up really soon. And uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but I've decided that I am going to do it, because why not? You know, I've, the, uh, the challenges are pretty uh, easy to work around. Now, there's seven, six reading challenges, and I can't read six books in one week. But I can maybe do three, especially if they're all pretty short. So, I decided to do it. Now, the half a -a thon it was created by the Spinebreakers, and you should go check out their uh, their video if you haven't, and check out their channel if uh, if you haven't watched any other videos or don't know who they are. Definitely uh, go check them out. I love watching them; they're a lot of fun. And uh, the co-hosts for this is Alex over at Hey Little Thrifter, Carol Marie reads, and that's what she read. And the challenges are read a book that has been adapted into a movie and then watch the movie. Uh, challenge number two, read a book by an indie author. Challenge number three, read a book by a master of horror, example, uh, King, Barker, etc. Uh, number four, read a book set in the autumn. Uh, challenge number five, read something that is not a typical novel. So as an example, you could read a, a short story, graphic novel, poetry, whatever. Uh, challenge number six is read a book released within the last five years. And uh, dress up, number seven, is dress up in a half-assed costume and post it on social media with the hashtag uh, half a -a -thon. So. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so for the first, as I said, I'm only doing three books for this and they all meet the, uh, every one of the challenges. Although I don't know if I'm going to do the, uh, the dressing up thing. I like dressing up and Halloween stuff, but I don't really have anything right now. Um, so I'm not too sure if I'm, if I'm going to be able to, I might just put on my pirate hat. Arr. All right, so challenge, this is my uh, to be read for this. Uh, challenge number one, read a book that has been adapted into a movie and watch that movie. And I decided to go with The Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. This is a, a novella by H.P. Lovecraft, and it was adapted into a movie in like 1972, I think, maybe 1970. It, uh, it's a movie that I have seen but I've wanted to watch it again and I couldn't find it anywhere. And recently I found it on, uh, on uh, Apple, iTunes. And so I, I, I bought it right away. Uh, it's, it, it's not a good movie, but it's, it's very schlocky and it's just a lot of fun. It's very, uh, it's like, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like uh, Dunwich Horror on crack. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, challenge number two, read a book by an indie author. Uh, I went with Halloween Fiend by C.B. Hunt. And um, I was watching Jamie Reed's, uh her TBR for this. And, uh, and she's reading the same book, Halloween Fiend. And uh, I mentioned that I have this on my Kindle and I was thinking of doing the, uh, the read-a-thon. And she was like, hey, do you want to buddy read it? I'm like, yeah, sure. So we're going to buddy read that. That's going to be awesome. I love buddy reading. Number three is read a book by a master of horror. Example, King Barker. And you might, might have guessed, I went with Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. Because H.P. Uh, Lovecraft may not have been the most spectacular guy in the world. But he uh, <laughs> he definitely influenced a lot of horror. So that that makes him a master, I think. One of the first masters. One of them. Uh, number four, read a book set in autumn, and that's Halloween Fiend by C.B. Hunt. And number five, read something that is not typical novel, e.g. short stories, graphic novel, or poetry. And I'm finally going to get to this. 
Hysteria, a Collection of Madness by Stephanie M. Widovich. This is a collection of poetry, and I believe they're all about going crazy or being crazy and being in an asylum. Uh, I, I have leafed through this and read a couple of poems, and some of them were just simply about murder. <laughs> so uh, this will be interesting. Uh, and then the final one, six, read a book released within the last five years. And I'm going to go with Halloween Fiend by C.V. Hunt. And as I said, I don't know if I'm going to do the dress up thing because I don't really have anything. Maybe I could dress up as a woman. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So thanks for watching. And, uh, Tell me what you're planning on reading for the Halloweenathon, and if you have a video, uh, tell me about it in the uh, in the comments, and I'll go check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep being creative, and we will catch you in the next bookish video.